Hello, this is MEI Further Maths Core Pure. We're in the first complex numbers section and on the third video on multiplying complex numbers. Multiplying complex numbers works just like ordinary algebra with one small extra. So, taking this expression and multiplying out, we get 8 minus 2i plus 12i minus 3 i squared. But we know that i squared is equal to minus 1. So that gives us 8, collecting the i's together, plus 10i, and then minus 3 lots of minus 1, which of course is plus 3. So we get a final answer of 11 plus 10i. I squared will occur lots of times in your working with complex numbers and all you need to do is remember every time to simplify it to be minus 1. But that raises some other questions. What's i cubed and i to the power 4? Let's have a look at higher powers. Pause the video for a moment and try to work these out. OK. We know that i squared is minus 1. i cubed means multiplying that by i, so we get minus i. i to the 4 means multiplying it by i again, so we get minus i squared, which is plus 1. And so i to the 5 must be i, and multiplying by i again, i to the 6, is minus 1. So what's i to the 201? We've got a cyclic pattern here, and every multiple of 4, we get back to plus 1. So i to the 201 is 1 times another i, which is just i. So however high the powers get, we can always simplify it down to 1 or minus 1, or i or minus i. Let's see what happens with more complex expressions. Pause the video for a moment and try this for yourself first. OK, writing this out we get 2 plus i times 2 plus i times 2 plus i. Dealing with the first bracket first, we get 4 plus 2i plus 2i is 4i plus i squared multiplied by 2 plus i. And that's 4 minus 1, which is 3, plus 4i, multiplied by 2 plus i. Multiplying out these brackets gives us 6 plus 3i, plus 8i, plus 4i squared. The 4i squared is minus 4, so that's 6 minus 4, plus 3i, plus 8i, which is 2 plus 11i. Here's a slightly harder problem, but it doesn't really involve any more difficult skills. Pause the video for a moment and try it for yourself first. OK, to make our working clear, let's work out z squared separately first. That's 2 minus root 3i multiplied by 2 minus root 3i. Notice how I'm making my 2's nice and loopy to make sure that they look different from my z's. So multiplying out, I get 4 minus 2 root 3i and then minus another 2 root 3i. So 4 minus 4 root 3i. And then I've got minus root 3i times minus root 3i. So that's plus root 3 times root 3 is 3 and i times i is i squared. So that's 4 minus 4 root 3i minus 3, which is 1 minus 4 root 3i. Now let's add that on to z. So z plus z squared is equal to 2 minus root 3i plus 1 minus 4 root 3i. That's 2 minus root 3i plus 1 minus 4 root 3i.
collecting terms, that gives us 3 minus 5 lots of root 3i. And you can see that that's in the correct form that we were asked to give it. There are more notes on integral on multiplying complex numbers. That's the end of this short video. The next video in this series is on dividing complex numbers.